Bin Salman has issued a new set of orders and rules that have been published on the Ministry of Islamic Affairs website designed to tone down and restrict Ramadan in Saudi Arabia as he continues with his push to drive Islam out of the public sphere. Firstly, the ban on the use of loudspeakers for mosques will not be lifted during Ramadan. The call to prayer remains restricted to one third of the volume of the loudspeakers and loudspeakers are banned entirely for Quranic recitation even if worshippers struggle to hear the Imam from the back. Secondly, the broadcasting of Taraweeh, Ramadan prayers, is banned on all media platforms. The famous Masjid Quba, where the legendary Imam of Medina, Muhammad Ayyub, rahimahullah, was discovered, and other mosques, are all banned from broadcasting the recitation of the Imam and broadcasting prayers that are often watched in the hundreds of thousands by Muslims around the world. The holy mosques of Mecca and Medina are not expected to be included in this ban. Bin Salman seeks to avoid a backlash similar to last year when he tried to apply this ban to the two holy mosques. Thirdly, the new rules order that prayers should be shortened and the dua or supplications should be kept short. Fourthly, anyone looking to sit in the mosque in the last 10 days for itikaf must show ID. In other words, the state apparatus will intimidate worshippers by collecting information for surveillance, a tactic that Bin Ali used in Tunisia to discourage people from going to the mosques. The fifth rule is that mosques are banned from collecting donations from worshippers, whether that be to fund meals for those breaking their fast or for any other purposes. It's worth noting here that worshippers often donate during Ramadan towards meals on the basis of a saying of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, whoever gives food for a fasting person to break his fast, he will have a reward like the one who fasted. The sixth rule is that worshippers are ordered not to bring their children to the mosques. And this rule is almost identical to that of Soviet satellite states that ban children from mosques in order to prevent Islamic influences on their nurturing and upbringing. The seventh rule is that mosques may not provide meals for fasting worshippers inside the mosque and cannot set up tents outside for communal meals at the time of breaking the fast. There are other rules, but Bin Salman's message is absolutely clear. In Saudi, Ramadan must be quiet.